Tipo nuevo vídeo en YouTube, pues tenemos un nuevo vídeo de la RDCS, unos highlights, uno, un resumen del partido que jugamos contra BDS. BDS es el mejor equipo del mundo act actualmente porque es el último campeón de la Major. Y también os tengo que dar una explicación de por qué no he subido vídeos estos días, pues he tenido regional, he estado en París y pues no podía subir vídeos ni grabarlos ni editarlos. Así que tranquilos que esto ya ha terminado, por así decirlo. Uh, ya tengo tiempo para grabar y subir vídeos, hoy vais a tener vídeo, voy a intentar que pase mañana también, cada dos días, incluso voy a hacer alguno extra. Y también os voy a explicar mañana, bueno el próximo vídeo va a ser el del episodio de la, de la serie de Rotten Super Sonic Vision. Y os voy a explicar el funcionamiento de cómo lo vamos a hacer porque se termina la temporada en poco. Entonces, en el propio vídeo del, del episodio os voy a explicar qué vamos a hacer. Así que disfrutad del vídeo. Ah, es un highway ahí rapidito. También os he dejado uno de los partidazos que me he hecho. Así que, bueno, si os gusta este tipo de contenido, dadle like, suscribiros. Y pues disfrutad. Un saludo. The end of last split on my our minds mm. where Evil Geniuses should have had it locked up and it just got away from them. They don't want to be following the same path they did alongside Misfits in the previous split either, where Misfits now Certainly is the case, as we do see Astral taking over, at least gets past one, and that demo is very happy. Oh! Oh! Astral! How 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 have you missed that? Stumpy! So... Stumpy, I... that wasn't an open net. Please tell me that wasn't an open net. I mean, I saw an open really net, big. but I've also really got big. bad eyesight. So especially if you're missing open nets as well. KC, pounce on them. Get this series to go your way early on. Give yourself that buffer. And KC, please get the next goal. Like, you you, you should be 1-0 up right now. Yeah. Do not drop this because of all teams that I could see falling apart. And it's early days, but off that, and then suddenly they can see the next goal. Oh, it'll be a difficult time for Casey to recover. Mm -hmm. Just mentally as well, right? Like, if PDS now score, you're thinking, oh, right, any player, stake, attaching, if any of them missed it, you'll be thinking, oh, you really should have scored that. Maybe you're not saying it, but certain players are certainly thinking opportunity. Not the end of the world, still a lot of chances for them to work through with one demo opening it up, an extra in the sky. He works around the side of Astral, attaching, not letting that ball drop just yet, though. Monkey Moon with a misread. Well, he thought that was going to be bouncing a lot closer to the wall so he could launch it. Overtime, game number one. And a big overtime at that as well. You can see Monkey Moon trying to open up the field. Just didn't want to get immediately challenged, but Stake, you can see him just loitering around. Didn't need it. Astral wins the challenge. Five boosts. He couldn't get it, but Atachi can! Oh! And Atachi has got the overtime for Carmine Corp. Brilliant play as well with the Astral following up on that ball. Mark misreading and Atachi. That's not the best shot in the world. It gets past the best team in the world. Carmen Corp securing that game number one. That, I'm, so, I'm honestly, I'm so happy that that open net miss hasn't affected them. It clearly didn't get in, in the way of their mentality. They worked through it and they still secured the game. That is brilliant. That's, that is exactly what I want to see from KC. Uh, passion and energy, if that is something. Hey, Belgium. that's all you need, man. <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> that, that big Belgian energy from big Belgian orb. Uh, game number two is where we find ourselves on the beautiful map of Forbidden Temple and Monkey Moon with a less than beautiful goal, but just as pragmatic as a worldie. Yeah, fantastic play there. And that is the first goal as well for BDS. Getting themselves on the board nice and early here in game number two. I love this format stuff. My, my, my eyes are just everywhere at the moment. I'm trying to watch as many games as possible. Right Did now, the one's up? Uh, I have the Guild Semper one up at the moment. Oh, let's That's go. how I knew the result. Nice. That's awesome, dude. I've done none of that. I've just been, I've been sitting here. I've been chilling. It, it, I've, been, it, it, I've been doing what I would say is my job, Shogun, instead of lollygagging around. And I have, mate, I've got the, uh, the points open on another one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my one God. Right <laughs> Right, well, BDS, they want to be hammering home the point of their win. They want to be getting another goal to try and secure something, but stake in the sky. As no boost continue with it. I wouldn't say that he wasted his current boost, because he then continues with zero. Nicely played round with Astral, though. Finding the pass on the ceiling extra has to be better than his double-digit points previously. He's not able to dribble it past stake, and the ball falling very nicely towards Tachi. 
Mm, he's going to just hook himself back around. Couldn't get the challenge he was quite after. And now it's Astral's turn in field to stake. Plays off the backboard. They need one more player. Here comes Itachi. He saw the player left. It was Monkey Moon, who was strong enough on the challenge. Stays 1-0. And Monkey Moon was a monster on the goal line. He also avoided Astral's bump when that was coming in. Stake strong on the opposition goal line as well. Finally, we're seeing some brilliant shots come in and some outplays. This is a chance for Mar to go for one of his own. He isn't able to as Astral gets the ball before him. Extra with not too much boost. Monkey Moon faking out Atachi, but with two players working their way down the pitch. KC looking strong. Atachi back down to Stake. Almost managed to just pop the ball over the top of extra. Tachi again. Feels like they're trying to force the option, however. Just because the player's around does not mean the pass has to go to them. Kind of slow this play down just a little bit. Astral again. Looking for the infield pass. Mark, BDS have their chance now to start swarming. Keep an eye on those 100 boosts as well. Steve grabs hold of those. Although the misplay over in the corner does give Astral his opportunity. He wins the first challenge. This is always what you expect to see from BDS. They will challenge early to give their next player the easiest time. Halfway in the match, Atachi attempts to get the ball to the corner. Monkey Moon with a miss and stake the self-professed man that doesn't reckon he's got the mechanics, slots that in at such a lovely angle, outspeeding the best. It's been a very scrappy series though. When both teams have had on and off momentum from themselves. But it does seem like Carmin have had the better of it. And Stake again outpaces. It's up to extra. Does well. Actually, might even get more from this. He does another fantastic challenge. Carmin desperate to hold on to this midfield. They have held on to it incredibly well. Stake already up. And Mark Bay, as always. They're just a little bit before you. He's a, he's always a pre-jump and a half ahead of everybody else. Tell you what, though. I feel like we're not really seeing a BDS that's at their top by any means. Like, they're making mistakes. Extra was not doing very well in that first game. There have been errors. There have been misplays, misjumps, miss everything's. I don't I don't really, I can't really put my finger on what is different, but KC, they look like a new team. That is such a nice play from them. G getting in the way of Monkey Moon's misplay with a demo as well. Stake driving it through the middle of the goal and the lead is theirs. That's again, it's coming. They are creating the better opportunities. They've also had a much stronger control over the midfield. So if there was a time to do it, Carmine have caught BDS at the best possible day. Mm. I want a result this would be as well. Not only keeps Carmine well in contention, but also for Queso, who I don't quite know how their series is going at the moment. We'll find out very soon from News Orb. I can see that but. they lost the first one in overtime versus Williams result. So Queso in that lower side of the bracket. Not looking as strong as they are either. Maybe teams getting a little bit complacent now that they've made the major. It's definitely an argument, right? It's an argument, but, but uh, the, the immediate argument afterwards would be, do you know how strong first seed is? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> go, go and get it. Like, you do not want a difficult group. I mean, it's, it's all difficult anyway. You're going to a major. Nobody is there. It's going to be easy. But you, you would prefer a slightly easier time <laughs> compared to the group of death. Mm. Oh, what a shot by Mark. <laughs> He's got his team back into it. Very typical BDS play. Just challenge, challenge, challenge. Oh, you've got nobody left. Fantastic. But also, yeah, a bit of a team bump. It's yes. nice and wrapped around, though, that ball. Finding its way to Mark is able to shoot it nice and quickly. And over both defenders, who are about halfway between Mark and the goal, um, means that the ball is almost a blur as it goes above them. With 30 seconds left, that's an equalizing goal for BDS. Stake's trying to find uh, the hood of Itachi and get another shot off. Monkey with zero boost. Nearly gets that second shot respected as the ball falls to Mark for a shot. Stake to save away. Yeah, I love that Carmine though. It's open. Allowed that play to happen, although oh. they're starting to get caught and BDS are finding their rhythm. Just taking their time, allowing the challenges to come towards them. And this is a very different BDS to the one that started this game. Extra. Looks for the outplay, but Astral 
Had eyes on only the bull throughout that one. Extra keeps the ball alive in fields, oh. although. Still up? Yeah, oh. Monkey Moon would maybe have needed to see about 10 seconds beforehand if he was ever going to make it to that ball. Yep, overtime, game number two. This BDS want to be evening up the series after Casey took that first one. That's going to bounce central, but Extra able to get the touch away. Marked by eight, bumped by Atachi, who did misplay the position of the ball. Makes up for it with his manhandling. Stake tries to clear, realizes this is just to try and get his team a little bit of time. Extra weaves his way through. It's well blocked, but BDS are taking every single challenge they can get. They are more than up for this task at this moment in time. It's another good challenge. Stake looks for a mistake from Monkey Moon. Does not happen, and that leaves players downfield. Astral has to get there first. Now, what a challenge that is. Astral just landed on it, oh. and there's the win. He's not even going to get trusted with the open net. Stake just guiding him. The open net, it's over here. Hit towards oh, me, that's... hit it towards me. You can pass better than you can shoot, that's and it so does harsh. go in. Astral did so much for that goal as well. He landed on the ball. He made sure that that was going in, and he blocks it wonderfully. Stake, though, earning the accomplishment of finisher with one overtime goal. That is BDS now needing to reverse sweep. 250 sort of points. If those teams go, then this battle for the top five <clears throat> gets a lot more interesting because mm. where you previously might have been able to settle on a top... Something that I thought was very interesting right at the end of that second game, and maybe I'm reading too much into it trying to find that storyline, but... Monkey Moon said, I'm not going to try and say it in French, he said something like, J'avais pas menti, right? I went on Google Translate immediately and had a look. He said in English, I didn't lie, is what that means. And that's what I'm very intrigued about. He said, I didn't lie. Maybe it's, you know, some kind of technical thing or whatever it ends up being, because now we're just nipping into a pause real quick. But I just need to learn how to speak Belgian, and then I'll be, okay, I'll be well. perfect in the middle of Europe. What? What? Come on, man. Come on. We're back in the game, though. Um, that was Hitachi scoring that first goal as well for KC. Looking really good. I love how much they're linking up. I love that they're not giving up the midfield as easily as maybe we've seen them before. I love they're not overextending. I love that basically they look like a very different team. And that team is one that is beating BDS into the ground. I mean, this... this Look, not only is this likely to happen, this looks like it's going to happen. BDS are being smashed. Your counter. Mm -hmm. well, at least it was only temporarily there, but Monkey Moon takes back over immediately. Shot on target! And KC, your job is not done yet. Mark by eight, slotting in a potentially vital goal. Astral backflips on the ball alongside Monkey Moon. And they needed to, but with Mark Bates sending it high above one, Monkey Moon receives it. Extra outspeeds. That's on the ceiling. That's on target. Oh, back. That's in the goal. Well, I didn't expect to see it going that way. Attachy up and Astral turns. He went inwards. And the moment his teammate is beat, his previous decision means that there is no way to get back. Two each. And for KC. <sighs> They, they cannot afford for this. Still lots of work to do. But it, it, that, oh, that's just not the way to start this off. This, this is the point where you look at a series, especially with KC in it, and you think, do they hold it together? Because yeah. they have to. Is this the point in history where they we look back? Oh, Astral, though, Astral? of the one, shoots, finds extra on the goal line, final 10. Stake, ceiling, doesn't get any further than that. Astral sees Atachi take back over, but now this is where Astral wants the ball the most. Off the ceiling, couldn't get there. Just a little bit too much pressure on him. That ball drops down, Astral stays around. Extra, desperate to find the ball to the opposite side of the field. Brilliant. He's done exactly that. <laughs> Overtime, looking to see whether or not BDS are gonna be eliminated. And now our other lower round one matches, all four teams went up oh, and done it. Stake up for a shot will ruin the reputation of BDS and delivers them their worst performance in an RLCS event ever. Well, again, they have a huge blunder and they respond. I've not seen in the entire time that we watched KC. If there's always been the blunder, there's never been the response. But today, yeah. Orb, we finally got it.